Join us tonight. We're going to the Top of Binion Steakhouse. Get greeted and seated immediately. Hello, how are you? Welcome to Top of Binion Steakhouse. It's always a good sign when you get greeted by the general manager who's actively involved in making sure that everyone has a good time. Hi. Welcome to Top of Binion. We'll be working with Nick. We'll be working together this evening. Thank you. Are you doing okay on drinks? Maybe appetizer? Yeah. Uh, can we get the pork belly? Pork belly to start? Yes. Yeah. Being the top of Binion's, it has a great view. Kind of hard to describe how or why, but the restaurant has definitely has an old school Vegas vibe. How you doing? Everyone's very friendly and seems happy to be there. If they're not, they're putting on a good show. The restaurant's a lot bigger than you first expect because it's long and narrow corridors. The long and narrow corridors make it a lot quieter than a big open restaurant. Also, I think it makes it a more personable experience. It has great views on three different sides of the restaurant and we'll check back with those views as the sun sets. That friendly bartender that we passed by, uh, he makes a very good martini. So here we're gonna have our cranberry walnut bread, and sourdough bread, uh, regular bread, honey butter, and we also have some of our special sea salt here. Here we're gonna have our smoked flake uh, sea salt, black Hawaiian sea salt, and our French sea salt. That's pretty much if you wanna Enhance your dinner, soup, salad, appetizer. I always put in my bread and butter. It just gives it a different texture, different feel to it. Alright, cool. Don't be afraid of music. Thank you. Adding a little bit of salt to the butter was a very good tip. The fresh bread is delicious. <laughs> this is a pork belly with the honey maple, the John's glazing. And he has a Dijon master sauce. Thank you. Maple bourbon glazed pork belly. It was so tender and tasty. You could cut it with a butter knife. I know because that's what they give you to cut it with. The flavor and the texture were so satisfying. Mm.
As the sun goes down, the view gets better and better. A lemon sorbet to cleanse our palate. Or is it just a really good excuse to have dessert before dinner? I don't care. It was good. Mindy had the prime rib and a baked potato. And I ordered the cowboy steak, which is a bone-in ribeye with potatoes and risotto. Thank you. I was a little jealous of Mindy's baked potato. At some restaurants, that little process right there will cost you hundreds of dollars. The steaks were terrific. We were stuffed. And what goes better with your third espresso martini than coffee? Just sugar. The baked Alaska flambe performed at the table is, it, is not just a good show, but that freshly toasted topping fills the room with a delicious smell that makes it irresistible. It was awesome. The baked Alaska is a sponge cake. It has some uh, the strawberry ice cream, black cherry ice cream, it's just top with your mangi, and bread slice the strawberries. And it smells great. Oh, yeah. server tonight was Nick and Concho. So I hope you come back and see us. And you are? I'm Donnie. I'm the general manager. Thank you. Thank you. The service, the drinks, the bread, the pork belly, the steaks were incredible. Dessert and the view. The view just got better and better as the night went by. And, and that view just keeps getting better.
we highly recommend that you visit Papa Binion Steakhouse. I know we'll be back.